Now, what I'm holding here is the lightest 17 inch laptop on the market. It's the LG Gram 17. Now, LG sent this over for me to check out. This was released last year, but I finally got my hands on it, and I'm glad I did. At 2.98 pounds or 1.35 kilograms, the lightest 17 inch laptop on the market. So if you're looking for something portable to take with you on the go with a nice, really big display, this is your ticket. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the LG Gram 17. Coming up. And as we take a look at the specs, I want to let everybody know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by LG. I'm not being sponsored by LG. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. LG is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit was provided by LG. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Now, pricing starts around $1799 US. Now, the unit that I have here with the Core i7 1195G7, a terabyte of storage and 32 gigabytes of RAM, goes for $1949.99 over at Best Buy. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get a 65 watt USB-C power adapter and it's actually pretty compact. And they also give you the extension cord. You get some warranty and registration information. And of course you get the unit itself and holding it for the first time. Wow, this is definitely the lightest 17 inch laptop I've ever held. And at 2.98 pounds or 1.35 kilograms, this is super thin and super light, easy to take with you on the go. But don't let the thin and light design fool you. This 17-inch all-metal laptop has a military standard A10G rating, making it extremely durable, withstanding all sorts of environments. All right, let's check out the port selection. On the left side is an HDMI port. Next to that are two USB-C 4 Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full service. They do data charge and display out. That's where you'll charge on this laptop, of course. And next to that is a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack. Moving over to the right side is a micro SD card reader, two USB-A ports, and finally a Kensington lock port to round out the ports on this laptop. All in all, I would say it's a pretty good port selection, although I would have liked to have a full-size SD card reader instead of a micro SD card reader, and it would have been nice to have an RJ45 Ethernet port. And as far as what's user upgradable, unfortunately, the RAM is soldered on board onto the motherboard, so you won't be able to upgrade it as the user, but you can configure this with up to 32 gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM, and that is exactly what my review unit has. The SSD is user upgradable. Now my unit comes with one terabyte of PCIe NVMe Gen 3 SSD storage. And as you can see from these reads and writes, uh, very good results, although they're not the faster Gen 4 we've been seeing in early 2022. And the good news is there's a second SSD slot for you to upgrade yourself. And it has a Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5.1 combo card. Unfortunately, it is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade it down the road. But I've been seeing really good results out of it. No issues in terms of connections. Really fast results. Now, what we're looking at here today is a very impressive display. What this has is a QHD plus resolution. That's 2560 by 1600. That means that this is a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. That means you'll do less scrolling when it comes to web browsing. It also is an IPS display that has a little bit of a glossy nature to it. That means you will notice some glare and reflections in certain lighting conditions, but not too bad. Now it has some really deep blacks, very vibrant colors, excellent contrast, and it is a color accurate display with a 1.37 Delta E score. Remember, anything below two means that it is color accurate and it has great coverage of the color gamut. We're looking at 100% sRGB, 88% Adobe RGB, 94% of the DCI-P3 wide color gamut, and 85% NTSC. So this is an excellent choice if you are a content creator that does color grading, Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. 
And at 335 nits, it's definitely bright enough for both indoor and outdoor use. But because it is a glossy display, as I mentioned, you might have some issues in direct sunlight, something to be aware of. But definitely bright enough for indoor use. There's no question about that. It's over my 300 nit threshold, that's for sure. And I didn't detect any PWM or screen flickering that causes eye strain for certain people. Now, my overall takeaway on this display is that it is excellent, really crisp, really sharp. I think LG did an excellent job here. So this is the front-facing camera on the LG Gram 17-inch that was released in 2021. This is a 11th gen processor. Of course, we are moving towards 12th gen. We should get a refresh on this this year. I don't have any specific dates, but if I do find out information, I'll let you know. What we're looking at here is a 720p webcam. Uh, 30 frames per second, not Windows allow, no IR camera here, so no face recognition as far as logging in. I didn't see a shutter switch either on this, so that's the other thing that I wanted to point out. But what do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality for your work from home needs in this hybrid work environment we find ourselves in? I am curious to know. Let me know in that comment section below. What do you think about the video and the audio quality? Now the power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. That worked well, set up was easy and registered my finger each and every time I used it. And for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger. And the screen goes as far back as you see here. Now, I actually think this is a bit of an improved keyboard over the last gen, and it has pretty good tactile feedback, a little bit shallow in terms of the key travel, but because this is so thin and light, I don't think they could have put more key travel even if they wanted to. Now, the good news is there is a numpad for those number crunches out there. You're going to like that. That'll allow you to do spreadsheets and crunch some numbers, of course. And it has a pretty nice backlight, allowing you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And I found it comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. My overall takeaway is this is a pretty good keyboard. And it has a very responsive touchpad. Two-finger scrolling was very responsive. All the gestures work as you'd expect. The LG Gram 17 sports an 80-watt hour battery. And it did 12 hours and 19 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 115 nits. What does that mean in real-world mixed usage? Anywhere from 9 to 10 hours, depending on what you're doing. Remember, everybody's use case is a little bit different, so your mileage may vary. Now, they do include that 65-watt power adapter, and it takes a little bit more than an hour and 45 minutes to give you a full charge. Not too bad, considering that this is an 80-watt hour battery. All right, let's talk performance. And what we have here is the Intel Core i7-1195 G7 with integrated Iris Xe graphics. Now, this is an 11th gen processor. I expect this to get upgraded to 12th gen sometime this year. I don't have a timetable. If I hear any information from LG, of course, I'll pass that along. But right now, we're looking at pretty decent performance, good for everyday use, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, It'll work perfectly fine. We've seen this chipset before, uh, definitely good for everyday use. Now, as far as uh, video editing, you can definitely do 1080p video editing. If you want something a little bit more in terms of graphics horsepower with, I say, 4K video editing, I would invest in something with a discrete GPU, or you can attach an external GPU to one of the two Thunderbolt 4 ports that this has. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, you can play some of the titles. If you lower the settings, you'll get playable frame rates, as you see here. Again, always better to go with a discrete GPU if you want a dedicated gaming laptop. And again, you can add that external GPU that we talked about. And when I ran the Prime 95 stress test to see if this will thermal throttle under heavy load, I noticed the CPU would turbo boost to 4.962 gigahertz for about five seconds and reach a core temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. Then it would stabilize and drop down to anywhere between 1.9 and 2.3 gigahertz for a cooler 83 degrees Celsius. So you will notice some thermal throttling reducing some performance, but not terribly bad, and it never got overly hot. And they did a good job with the surface temperatures never getting overly hot, never too hot to the touch. And that single fan will kick in under heavy load, but I didn't find it overly loud. It was pretty quiet, in fact. And the two speakers on the LG Gram 17 did surprisingly good filling up a room rather nicely, mids were decent, and there was some bass. Volume also is very good. I gotta say they did a very good job. 
Okay, let's bring it all home. What do I think about the LG Gram 17Z95P here as we are in early 2022? And I gotta say, I really like it, although not perfect. I think there are a lot of improvements over last year's model. I love the super lightweight design of this with this magnesium chassis. It is probably, if not the lightest 17 inch laptop out there in the world. That's impressive. It's really easy to take with you on the go. I like the two Thunderbolt 4 ports that this gives you gives you a lot of versatility in that regard. I like its bright 16 to 10, 2.5K display. It is excellent, sharp, it's got great contrast, it's got excellent color accuracy, and it covers the color gamut really well. It runs really quiet, and then the surface temperatures never get overly hot. It stays cool to the touch, you gotta love that. And that's even under heavy load. It's definitely the most compact 17 inch laptop out there, there's no question about that. And they had pretty decent port selection, including those two Thunderbolt 4 ports that I mentioned. The negatives here, it's a bit of a reflective display, although not a deal breaker. It is something to be aware. You'll notice some glaring reflections in certain lighting conditions. They give you a micro SD card slot, not a full size SD card slot. I would absolutely prefer that. Not a big deal though. Soldered RAM means you as the user cannot upgrade it yourself. There's no higher refresh rate option here in terms of getting more than 60 Hertz, like say 90 or 120, we don't get that on this. And there's no OLED option. That would have been great from LG, although this IPS display is certainly excellent and it can get very expensive with a starting price of about $17.99 US. This is definitely not the cheapest out there but again you're getting a pretty premium laptop that is super light thin and has a really big 17 inch gorgeous display. I'm going to give this a score of 89% making the LG Gram 17 definitely worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Gram 17 from LG, 1.35 kilograms, 2.98 pounds, just under three pounds, of course, so thin, so light, and it doesn't skimp on durability. Now this does have an 810G rating as far as the military standard rating, and that is, means that this can take a licking and keep on ticking. You're looking at about nine to 10 hours of mixed use in terms of the battery life, and that's thanks to that 80 watt hour battery that this has. Upgradable SSD, there are two of them on this. My unit has one terabyte of SSD storage. It's Gen 3, good reads, good writes. Not the faster Gen 4 though, we've been seeing here in early 2022. Not the easiest to get in, but you can get in of course to upgrade what's inside. The RAM is soldered in, it's LPDDR4X RAM. I have 32 gigabytes, 11th gen processor. Of course, I anticipate this getting upgraded to 12th gen sometime this year. I'll let you know once I get more information. Good performance, everyday use. Uh, you're not gonna have any issues. This is actually fitting the bill as far as a great general purpose, take with you 17 inch laptop. What do you think about the LG Gram 17? Now with a starting price of $17.99, definitely not the cheapest thing out there, but it is a very premium, well-built machine and it's made to take with you on the go. And it's rare that you find such a thin and light 17 inch laptop where you can take it on the road and not really feel it in your bag. A really, really good engineering job by LG. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.